Hello Sagittarius. This is your mid-July 2019 reading. Remember it will not resonate with all Sagittarius individuals so please keep that in mind. But this is for Sagittarius. I'm asking for newer energies coming in for Sagittarius for mid-July 2019. Those born under the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Hmm. Someone wanting a passionate new beginning and having trouble with it? Remember, we're going through Mercury and retrograde, and a lot of these energies can be temporary. So don't let anything get to you. And remember, Tarot's here to help, not to hinder. If you see little warning signs of something you don't like, it allows you to uh, reject that energy, most likely. <clears throat> or you can embrace it if you like the energy. But a lot of these energies, really, they kind of go all over the place during Mercury and retrograde. And we just got to, you know, go with it. Queen of Disc. You may be dealing with somebody who doesn't feel very secure and stable in their life. A little bit insecure. Not very independent. Maybe they don't have enough. But the Queen of Disc can be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. But it doesn't have to be. It could be just someone, you know, taking on this energy. Let's see what we got going on here. In the past, it was a failed situation with this, um, whatever started out. That's the Seven of Pentacles. And I'm going to be clarifying these, and it can change up the story or make it very interesting, so bear with me. The obstacle, you're trying to start a new beginning, or someone's trying to start a new beginning with you, with the Fool card in the upright, but it's in the obstacle position. Current environment in mid-July, you are regaining strength and energy and vigor. Maybe you were, some of you are ill and regaining strength, but, some, but you're just going to... Re, feel energized, regaining strength in a situation. Outside environment, the hangman in reverse. This is uh, possibly someone not wanting to hang around and wait any longer. They're wanting to make a move and things move forward very quickly with the chariot in the upright. <clears throat> Starting to lose my voice. It's when I talk a lot or I read a lot for people, I get this way. And I'm trying to get caught up here on a lot of things. But I want to make sure you can see this. But I do see things moving forward for you very quickly. But let's find out what everything's about first. We got the failure card in the past. Something failed. Something didn't work out for you. But it's in the past. It's over with. So Seven of Pentacles in the upright, in the past position. Why are you there for Sagittarius? A failed situation or a passionate new beginning. Maybe you offered something, you wanted a passionate new beginning with somebody. You wanted to start something real fiery and a lot of energy and maybe it didn't work out. Maybe it didn't work out the way you wanted it to or, or did, someone wanted this with you and it didn't work out. So Seven of Pentacles in the upright, Ace of Wands in the upright. Why are you there? For Sagittarius. Someone wanted to break free from a situation with the Seven of Swords, and sometimes deceptions come out. Or, you know, something came out that maybe you didn't like or they didn't like, and it doesn't have to be a deception, just something you weren't expecting. You know, like a, that flew under the radar on you. But it's something also breaking free from a situation. Now, the obstacle position, you got the Fool card. This is someone wanting to make a new start, you know, jump into something new. But it's an obstacle. Maybe it's telling you the universe in a way to slow down. But i got to have another card. The Fool card in the upright. Why are you there for Sagittarius? What's going on? Yeah, there was a little bit of manipulation with it, with this new beginning someone was wanting. Maybe they were trying to manipulate a situation with you, or you were trying to manipulate it with them. That's a magician in reverse. The Fool card in the upright, the Magician in reverse, why are you there for Sagittarius? And then someone's unable to make a final decision with the Eon in reverse. That's all the obstacle. Now the current environment coming up for mid-July, you regain strength, you become energized, you, be you feel better. So the Strength card in the upright, which is the Nine of Wands, in the upright, why are you there for Sagittarius in mid-July? Yeah, and you're regaining balance in mid-July. Even though you had this situation in the past, you're regaining balance. You're regaining strength. 
you're becoming more healthy, feeling better. So Nine of Wands, the art card, also known as Temperance. Why are you in the upright for mid-July for Sagittarius? What is going on? Overcoming failure. I had that twice. In the past, you had failure. In the current, mid-July, you're overcoming it with the Seven Pentacles in reverse. Now, what is coming towards you is someone is, is tired of just waiting around for some reason. They want to come out of that just hanging and waiting and waiting. So the hangman in reverse as the outside environment or what is coming towards Sagittarius while you're there. Queen of Cups could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Maybe they're tired of hanging around. Maybe they're waiting on you to make a move. Maybe that's what the obstacle is. Someone wants you to jump into something and make a move. Maybe they're trying to flag you down and say, hello, you know, I'm here. But um, something's up. It's maybe you don't trust the person and you're indecisive of, of to make the move or like vice versa. Sometimes this reading is flipped and someone else could be feeling this way with you or going through this with you, you know, where um, you're doing it, all this, you know, the manipulative behavior and <clears throat> not making the decision, but the hangman in reverse, the queen of cups in the upright is the outside environment. Why are you there for Sagittarius? Princess of Cups. Yeah, this person's back and forth with their emotions. Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone just taking on this energy of emotions. And they're getting kind of tired of waiting around, and they're going to tell you, or you're going to see that they, they are. And you're, one minute they're happy, and the next minute they're sad, you know? But it moves forward again. Life moves forward <clears throat> with the chariot in the upright. The chariot in the upright for Sagittarius is the final outcome. Why are you there? For mid July. I like the chariot. Ooh, something moves forward with love. With two of cups. A lot of love energy here. You're moving fast and forward with a love situation. So, chariot, so maybe you do overcome that obstacle. Maybe this person does get a hold of you, or maybe you're starting something new. I don't know. Could be either or, or both. But. This happens a lot also during Met Mercury and Retrograde where people that you had a falling out with will kind of resurface sometimes. And I know you, you hear that a lot in readings, but I'm telling you, it's kind of a fact a lot of times. Not all the time, but that's when it happens, it's usually during a Mercury and Retrograde a lot of times. So the Chariot in the Upright, Two of Cups in the Upright, why are you there? For Sagittarius is the final outcome. And you're still regaining strength big time. So whatever went amok, whatever failed, whatever you didn't trust, whatever you're undecided about, you come out of failure with the situation, you regain balance and strength. But you're going to hear about from somebody, whether this is the person you're going to carry on with or go on with or somebody else, they're tired of waiting around for you to make a move. So just letting you know. Or maybe you're tired from them now, you know, waiting to make a move on them or you know what I'm saying. Can't even get this stuff straight. But I see this person, the motion's going back and forth. Is he? Isn't she? Isn't he? You know, you know, back and forth. But it does move forward with love. With the two of cups with emotional energy and regaining strength in that area. And it moves forward pretty quickly. Now, in the end, you're dealing with the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is in reverse. This is someone whose energy is also back and forth, and sometimes they're a little inconsistent, <clears throat> short-tempered. And maybe you will be dealing with this with this um, Mercury in retrograde. It doesn't have to be a fire sign like Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be someone who's just, you know, hot-tempered right now and a little insecure themselves, you know? And... Um, and they, and they don't like being ignored. So just letting you know. <laughs> they don't like being ignored. And you may be dealing with that person in the very end. And they feel worried. You know. Maybe because you're not making a move. And they're still irritated. You know. And it goes on like that. So it's up to you whether you want to make this move. Or not make this move. Or make a move on another person. That's the energy that is there for Sagittarius. And this is your reading. And I'm going to let this go. And I will talk to you later. Bye.